You often talk about, Henrik, wanting to improve one day to the next. One game to the next, how much better do you feel after tonight than you did last year? Um, I felt a lot better, more comfortable. Uh, we talked about it after first game, you know, you, you need a couple games to get good feedback. And I've been watching a lot of video the last couple of days with Benny. And um, I, I would say my last three days been probably my best la or best three days during camp. I just made some adjustments. And uh, so, yeah, I felt a lot better today and, and uh, definitely a step in the right direction. You didn't see a ton of shots in the first period. Are you okay with that in preseason? Would you prefer to see more, or are you encouraged that that's probably a sign that the defense was more sound? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I like what I saw, though. It, it was, uh, you know, we had great speed to our game, great puck support. Um, so we uh, we made it really tough for them, especially the first two periods, to create um, big opportunities. And a, a lot of that was our puck support coming down our own end and helping out. So. Uh, that was great to see. It was a lot of structure, and, and for a goalie, that's uh, you know, it's a lot easier to play the game when, when you have that type of structure in your, in your own end. Um, so a lot of good things to to um, you know bring with us here. Was the plan to play the first two periods, or was the low shot total perhaps a reason why you stayed in? I know you came over to the bench at that one point and laughed with the coach. Yeah, well, they they kind of left it up to me, and then after I. I think it was eight and a half minutes to go. It was a penalty, so he said, "Well, you could stay until after the penalty or finish the period." So that that was kind of they left it up to me. I said, "Let's finish the period," and then um, uh, yeah, I, I just happy that the adjustments I made, you know, it made me feel more comfortable out there. And, and uh, just next few days, I continue working on those things that you know helped me in the past and then just make it even stronger and better here in the next week. I know sometimes you don't reveal, but are you at liberty to say at all, even generally, what the adjustments are? And, and what are the things you did that made you that much more comfortable? Well, it, it's just playing my game. There, there's a few things I need to be very strong on, and it's you know playing deep and making good reads and try to beat the pass. And uh, we talked about it, I think, yesterday or this morning. It, just, it was too, mu too much movements. And, and sometimes you want to do too much, especially early on. You're trying to look for that good feeling. So really, it's just back to basics. And, and my game is, you know, playing deep, being in good position and, and move less. So that's something I've been working on the last few days and felt a lot better in practice and, and also in the game. Your first save was a side to side save on Brad on a one timer in the first period. Does does a save like that immediately give you confidence to know that's the kind of save I want to make at that point? Uh, I think it doesn't matter what, what, when you play the game, if it's early in the season or later on, when, when you make saves, um, especially early in the game, that helps the team, that, that's a good feeling. But I think that was a sign for me that I was in the right position. I wasn't moving too much. I wasn't challenge, over-challenging the shooter, so I had time to come across. And it was just a couple of saves that, um, you know, for me, it, it just clarified a couple of things that, I was um, I was on track, you know, I'm doing the right things right now, and um, and it definitely helps when we had that type of structure. So it was fun, fun to play at the Garden tonight.